Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, don't do that. Welcome back or welcome. I should actually change that. Hi guys, welcome or welcome to my what welcome or welcome. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you got Louise, we're Louise, pick one, nothing else with Louise, pick one's really not hard. It's really not the hard. Period. 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 In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to get your first your your can't speak English. How to get your license first time, how to pass your driving test first time. Now let me just be specific right now. Let me be very specific. This is not about theory because I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know how to advise someone how to pass their theory if I revise the day before. Like I literally revised on the day of my exam. Probably wasn't wise, but I still passed the flying colours. So who gonna tell her? Who gonna cut me? Nobody, because I passed, period. Theory, we can leave that one to another day, but today is driving, whipping. We're screwing, screwing bit. I made a bunch of notes on my phone, not a lot. I probably should have made more, but I just, I'm just gonna bounce back off the notes. Point number one, this is probably the most important point. I I always say this point, okay, let me get off my car. What? Why is that homeless man coming towards me? Bruh. Yeah, this is probably my, this is probably the most important point. And this is what's going to bring everything together. You need to, you must, you have to 100% have the best instructor you can get at the time. If you get a bad instructor that you don't like, that you don't feel comfortable with, then forget it. You're not going to pass because you're going to be more focused on the instructor that himself or herself that you won't be able to focus on what you're actually doing on the road. If your instructor makes you feel comfortable and you're able to drive, listen to instructions, they speak well, they make you feel comfortable, they don't make you feel rushed, they don't aggravate you, they don't make you angry, then that's the instructor you need. But if you have an instructor that's just aggravating you, whenever you hear their voice, you get annoyed. My good sis, how the hell are you gonna pass? It's not gonna work, you're not gonna pass. Bin, forget it. My instructor was amazing. I think my instructor was so good, and I even recommended my instructor to so many of my friends, which they use to this day. To this day! To this day! So, I feel like a lot of people if the driving people or company that they drive with is branded. Obviously, me, I was with the baddest bitches. I was with red. But you're, you don't have to have a good branded company. As long as you're learning, you're learning. Like, I think a lot of people go off based on the best driving company around like people really pay 1k with aa rather than paying 800 700 with the with a company that's not branded because they want to look like bad biddies or they think that because they're branded they're better my god they might even be worse and they the thing is when you go on the company site they charge you even more next Point. You shouldn't want to drive because so you see one of your friends driving. You shouldn't want to drive because somebody else told you to drive. You shouldn't want to drive because your parents are pressuring you to drive. You shouldn't want to drive because you want to drive because if you, if you don't want to drive, you're not going to pass. Trust me, you are not going to pass. It's not going to work. When you know in your mind, oh, I want to drive, you're going to have that kind of determination like, I'm going to pass. Like, once you believe in yourself, like, yeah, I'm going to pass. I'm going to try my best. Don't be too cocky, like, oh, I'm going to pass you yeah, because I'm the best. Yeah, don't do that. If you believe in yourself at least, then... It, if you have that kind of mentality like I can do it, I'm going to try my best, I'm going to put everything out there and I'm going to try to do it. If you have that kind of mentality, then my guy, you are going to pass. That's it. Oh my god, my friends are going to be so impressed that I can drive. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, oh my god, yeah, you can drive, but it's not that deep because we can all get bus as well. So, mm. this next point is 100% it. Your concentration has to be there 10 hundred percent of the time now i feel like this is what could have caused me my license because i can't, I can't concentrate on one thing at once because i have like i don't know i feel like i have adhd because i can't do it my instructor will be saying something and i'll be thinking something else i'll be thinking of bts i'll be thinking of oh what am i gonna eat later like my guy like there's so many times where he'd be talking and I won't even realize what I won't even know what he said but I'd be like yeah 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 because I didn't even hear it because I'm not, I'm not concentrated but on my test obviously on my test I was trying my best to be concentrated I feel like after a period of time I just get bored of listening to the same thing over and over again and my mind just 
clicks out so you have to be concentrated 100% of the time try your best especially on your test day to have your a clear mind a clear slate just a blank paper be very 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 exaggerative on your test day you have to do the most like when people say oh you're doing too much do too much you have to do too much like you have to look look left and right look left and right a hundred times look in your mirror a hundred times so the instructor the vigilator can see no vigilator why say vigilator the, the examiner can see that oh you're checking your mirrors you're checking your back you're checking to the side you have to do the most be exaggerated do the most obviously you're not gonna keep doing that again and again and again when you're actually driving but so the examiner can see that you are doing it do it people will look at you in the car like what are you doing do it like don't focus on what other people think don't focus on what other people say if a car is horning behind you who cares if there's a car behind you and you're on the right speed limit and they're horning don't care about other drivers as long as you're doing the right thing as long as you are doing what you need to do as long as you're following the rules of the road and somebody behind you is horning all you need to do is be like yeah the examiner's right here you can't you can't do that but like in your own time because why are they warning you because they want you to go quicker but then you have black box so what do you do now so yeah don't think about what other people as long as you're doing the right thing then everyone else is doing the right thing then everyone just lives a happy life next point on your exam day you always have to check your surroundings and be prepared for the worst that could happen now if they understand what that means check your surroundings as is there a child here is there a child on the side of my car could there be a child there like should i i you just have to check and what i mean for be prepared for the worst that could happen you're on a school road at three o'clock during your exam and then a kid runs past what are you gonna do emergency stop obviously you emergency stop like that but you have to be prepared that you're gonna emergency stop so you have to be prepared for the worst like you have to have that kind of instinct like oh this could happen so i'm gonna put my 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 feet here if you're doing manual obviously if you're doing automatic get out of this video because what the hell it's so easy you don't even need it but if you're doing manual like it's like okay now i have to put my my foot on the, the clutch and the brake just in case i need to stop quickly you know what i mean also when you're turning into a road where you know that there's cars parked on either side you have to be prepared you can't turn in on the 30. oh my god there are people that turn into a road on the 30 is baffling me how can you turn into a road on that on 30 miles per hour you're on third gear going into a road like it doesn't make sense go back down to second slow down ease into the road because you never know there might be a car coming there's a car coming and you've literally blocked the car that's a fail you failed and you are not gonna license because anything could happen that's a period that's a period for me this was very helpful but if you don't know your left and right put a hairband on the hand that you write with and then that helps if the examiner tells you oh we're going right now you can say right 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 speak speak out loud like you might sound crazy like oh okay this is a bit weird i'm speaking speak okay i'm gonna put my right blinker down and turn right now i'm turning right look look i'm looking speak out loud because because a lot of people are they they learn listening I'm turning right now I'm turning right blinkers right if you could and if you forget a lot i just say say all your instructions back out again like if the examiner says okay i want you to take a take the third exit you say okay i'm gonna take the third exit look right look, not look left look right okay there's a car coming okay this car's blocked it okay i'm going now blinker blinker right up third exit third exit one two three count the exits out loud don't rush take your time like i said before if a car's trying to rush you just don't pay attention to other cars and pay attention to what you're doing it's just like in the end at the end of the day if you feel mentally you're not ready for it then you shouldn't take a test because at the end of the day you're putting yourself at risk and you're putting other drivers at risk as well if you're not a safe driver then that's your life that's someone else's life and that might be a child's life like you never know who's in the car that might be a whole family's life that you put in danger personally on a real note you're not in that mental space to drive don't do it because honestly if the amount of people you're putting at risk you could kill a vast amount of people just with one car and it's crazy how one car could kill so many people you don't have to rush into taking your test it's okay like i only took 28 lessons but if you think if you feel like you need more lessons take more lessons if you feel like you're not prepared take more lessons don't listen to what your instructor says listen to what your mind is saying i need more lessons take more lessons oh i don't need that many more don't take any don't take that many more but take more 
like even on your exam day i advise you to take a lesson as well even if you think that you're the best at the best you never know there might be things that you've actually forgotten so if your instructor gives you an option to take a lesson before your exam take the lesson because honestly it's mind-blowing how much i learned the hour just before my exam so yeah but i guess that's it wait let me see how many minutes got. at least 13 minutes um to get on um well i guess that's it though i don't really have that much more to say i also want to do a video how to buy your first car corsa why corsa i mean it's not really that bad by saying my car is it no 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 obviously that every single teenager has the same car like if you see my car and you see my friend's car we all literally have the same cars just in different colors you'll just be like oh well they all have the same car some of my friends even have better cars than me like my car is a decent car my friend charlie has a 2017 car it's just like all these cars are really good my car's not even the best like there's even better cars than my friends have i didn't really have to make a whole video on how to buy a car i mean i could i could research but I said, if this helped, please leave a fat like and subscribe. That'd be very much appreciated. I mean, I literally just gave you all my tips for free. So what you could do in return to me, for me is subscribe and like. I would, that's literally all I'm asking for. Like, I'm giving you this for free, and then all I'm asking in return is uh, subscribe. And if you could press the bell as well, so you can be alerted whenever I post next time and give you more more tips. You know. Uh, I guess that's it. Subscribe right now and you will get 10 years of good luck and you will pass your test the first time. Inshallah! Thank you so much for watching my video, Shagal Louise, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, buddies. Now, how the hell am I gonna do this thumbnail? But it doesn't look like I drive. But then it would look like, oh yeah, how to buy your first car at 17. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this. I was gonna title this video how to pass your um driver's driver's um test at 17 years old, but then we'll think of a new one. Ella, come on, size, my BM. Gracias. <laughs> going to go and buy food now because I'm freaking hungry. Freaking hungry, mate. I bought it. No, I stole it. I'm joking. I bought it. Okay, hey, there's money in my car now. Let's sneeze. <coughs> Bye. It was